the skies smiling at me nothing but blue skies do I see and blue birds singing a song nothing but blue birds all day long never saw the sun shining so bright Never saw things going so right Noticing the days hurrying by When you're in love, oh my, how they fly Oh, blue days, all of them gone Nothing but blue skies from now on Hi. Hi. We're here. <laughs> I'm Dr. Salo Stanley, and this is... I'm Barbara Heinzelman. And this is BS in Fresno. We like to have fun, and I hope you guys are doing great out there in the universe. Are you riding the surf? Are you enjoying all the energies happening here on the planet? Are you spiritually growing? Are you feeling your expansion, or do you feel like just pulling out your hair? <laughs> Either one, any of those options are great. Because <laughs> that's what's going on right now. We're riding the surf with all the energies. Right now, we're in... Mercury retrograde, and those energies can be a little bit unnerving and everything. A little tense. Yes, yeah, a little tense. And my guides right now said I should probably say, which, which camera is it? This one here? Right there. Okay, I'm looking in the wrong one as usual. Um, my guides <laughs> say that it's good to introduce ourselves a little bit more. I'm a doctor of chiropractic. I've been one for about 25 years. I do sound therapy. I'm a psychic. I do a paranormal research with uh, radio boxes and communication to ghosts and spirits to the other side. Um, my receptionist at my office is Toby, our dog. He's like really cool. And I work there with Barb, who's a wonderful right. massage therapist. Massage therapist, Reiki master. I also do myofascial release. Um, I teach Reiki classes. Um, and, I, and my clients also say that I give pretty good pretty good massage. Yeah, I think so. You've been doing so it for about 10 plus over years. Ten, yeah, 10 plus years. So I know I know a thing or two. Right. And you also do uh, reflexology. Yes, I'll do reflexology as well. So I do a little, I have a lot of, a lot of tools in my bag. That's great. I yes. love it. And we're right here in Tower District in Fresno. It's like a very creative community and that's what it's about. It's the wave of the future. We're into 2012 and we're not going to fall into the ocean. Haven't and yet? No, nope, it's, uh, as I said in the past, it's not doomsday, it's bloomsday. It's about us having fun. Mm -hmm. And with our consciousness, we can change the planet from the inside out. Out? <laughs> I don't out, know. Out? Are you going through puber puberty? Yes. yes. <laughs> inside out puberty. instead of from outside in. The old ways of okay. trying to control the universe. I know. My voice changes. That's what happens when you get older, I think. <laughs> For sure. But uh, going back to Mercury retrograde, <laughs> what that is is three times a year, the planet Mercury three, out there three. in astrology seems to go backwards, but it slows down. Mercury is the planet of communication. It's about how we get along with one another. And right during this time, between now and through August, um, April 4th. Well, that's a long Mercury retrograde. I know, retrograde. really. <laughs> 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 through April 4th, we're going through the slowdown. It's about us going inward, being introspective, getting our ducks in the row, trying to find out are we doing the right decisions in life. It's about cleaning out your closets. It's about not starting that new business. It's about finishing up old projects that you have. It's about maybe, maybe contacting people you haven't heard from in a long time. A lot of times people from the past show up around these times during Mercury Retrograde. It's not a good time to send out a new proposal for business or to launch any new endeavors or projects or dates um, that we're doing because what happens is something hidden will get revealed later on after April 4th. So all your plans that you thought was a go, sometimes things need to be revised a little bit more. But that's okay. As long as you check everything, if you're signing a contract, it's not a good time to sign it, but heck, if you need to, just make sure you read it and reread it again. That's all it says. It says it's nothing to be scared of. It's about just us going inward and being quiet with ourselves and slowing down. And hasn't it felt like that since the beginning of the year where you just feel like you're going through mud and you can't get your projects going? 
Well, the reason is a lot of the planetary alignments are doing that right now because 2012, spiritually, right now, what we're going through are major downloads with all these solar flares. And what that is is that we can't shut off our computer when it's doing updating. What happens? All the updates don't occur. So if we try to be busy during this time and go and go and go and plan and organize and have meetings, what's going to happen is you're shutting off your computer, you're not letting those updates happen, a lot of arguments can happen, disagreements, and a whole bunch of stuff starts to come up and our little issues come up to the surface. So it's better to kind of do that behind doors and have what I call a cosmic barf and spiritually grow <laughs> like, a, like, like a little cat hair ball. <laughs> okay. So it looks like we have a message from one of our viewers, which I was hoping we'd have. It's great. I love it. Wow, this is certainly where I am now to include a fourth step inventory and AA laugh out loud. Communication has been tough and energy is low. Thank you. And that's Welcome. because of the Mercury retrograde. Yeah, Mercury retrograde. And There's a reason why you feel like you're sloshing through mud and, and not getting anywhere. Or people not hearing you or listening to what you have to say. Or if you're like really intuitive, you may mm -hmm. see like you're on the mountain and look at the valley and you're warning people about falling into holes, mm -hmm. but nobody right, can hear right because there. we're all inward right now. Right we're now. all kind of going inward with our spirituality. But on April 4th, that goes forward mm -hmm. again. And the good news is too, on April 14th with our projects, Virgo is in Mars retrograde right now. Mars is the planet of action and Virgo is details. After that date, things are gonna go full speed ahead and then finally, things will really roll right around June because Saturn will no longer be retrograde also at that time. And we'll be able to get all of our projects done. The people that we meet in our life will come together. Our communication will be so much more, you know, mm. harmonious, you know, and not have a lot of those spiritual challenges. So right now, we are having our issues come up. It's about letting it go, letting it get processed letting in more light within our light body, we are actually going from our free will consciousness to what we call divine will, or working through even divine integrity. Before we used to think, well, I'm gonna be impeccable with my word as you know, um, the four agreement says, mm -hmm. and now we're going into hyperspace, spiritually growing to the next level. And what my guides have told me this week is now we're going from regular integrity is the way we have of being impeccable with our word and what makes us happy and following that and honoring ourselves. Now we're opening ourselves up. We're feeling very vulnerable right now, kind of raw. And the reason is we're opening ourselves up to divine integrity and divine will. It's about every morning waking up, checking in, am I supposed to be here? Am I supposed to go to work? I know that's a hard one. Am I supposed to go to Disneyland today to play with that big giant rodent Disneyland. down there? Whatever his name is, uh, Mickey Mouse, that's right. <laughs> work, you know, Disneyland. Work, work or Disneyland, where do we want to do? But you know what? You'll be supported in the universe. If you are supposed to go to Disneyland and not be at work, you know what's going to happen is you're going to get those phone calls coming in. The boss is saying that the, the office is flooded and nobody can come into work. That's when you are in divine timing and on universal divine integrity and will in the universe. So we're going up another level to hyperspace of really tuning into how it feels, where our intuition is getting online. All these issues are coming up, but all this light's coming up and we are moving up another frequency level. In fact, in Siamedics, um, Hans Jenny actually used sound to create these wonderful, wonderful patterns of uh, circles on these plates. What he did is he put sand on there, or what they call lycopodium powder. He put an amplifier next to it, and with the sound, it made beautiful patterns. And as he increased the frequency, he noticed that the patterns would get more complicated and beautiful looking. But when it went from a lower vibration to a higher vibration, what happened was there was a moment of chaos, total destruction, kind of not looking pretty, and then coming again into the next beautiful sacred geometry pattern. It's almost like frozen music that we're looking at, and that's what's happening to our bodies right now. We're actually going to the next level right now. We're gonna have sleepless nights, our body's kind of shaking, uh, we're getting these major downloads, we're not hearing people correctly, um, sometimes our, uh, we're getting dizzy, uh, we're not feeling quite ourselves in our bodies, some aches and pains, 
and welcome to the new millennium. This is part of our body, actual DNA, actually coming online, getting rid of the old, or integrating the old into our new light bodies of no longer being polarity consciousness to what we call unity consciousness, which is great. Isn't that a fun ride? You having fun out there? Okay. Yeehaw! <laughs> Wee! I hope so. So that's kind of cool. So I also wanted to bring up today about labyrinths a little bit and yes. you know a lot of people don't realize that we have a labyrinth right here in Fresno California and I don't mm. know if you can bring up that little picture of that purple labyrinth in our back parking lot it's a uh, kind of purpley blue purpley. ah that's there the it one is. Yay. there it is it's our lovely that's little our labyrinth beautiful in the back of our parking lot yes our behind parking our office lot. yes and I got the idea when I went to Italy a few years ago to a place called Dominher it's a wonderful community about an hour north of Turin and in that community, um, Falco was the generator of the energy and creativity there. He's a wonderful artist. But in 1978, he had this vision of these beautiful temples underneath the ground, five stories below. The legend has it is that some of these people that he had contact with is actually time travelers that came 600 years from the future to come back into 1978 to build these beautiful temples of creation to help the planet grow into the new millennium of 2012 and beyond. So I was very fascinated by these temples and one day I had a dream that I was supposed to go to Dominher and so I woke up one morning and I told Barb, I said, hey, we're going to Italy, what do you think? And she said, all right. Yes, we're going to Italy. <laughs> yeah, she got in Travelocity and got us some great tickets and we flew out there and it was a wonderful journey. Uh, I told them that I had a dream about coming to Dom and Her. I had a dream that there was a young little um, child that played music, and uh, uh, I think her name was, uh, I can't remember her name right now. I know, and I can't either. I love it. Something like Aurora. Yes, uh, Aurora. And uh, I told them that, and when I told them the story, everybody in the office got real quiet because they said, nobody would know that, Salo, because... We just had a baby that got born here in Dominher three days ago, and that's what her name was. Her name was Aurora, and that's the only Aurora mm -hmm. they had in Dominher. So they really let me have some access there to the temples. My guide said I needed to play my flute there to <laughs> unleash what I call codes in the universe, because usually sound and music release certain um, frequencies, almost like Max the Crystal Skull. It generates a wave pattern of what we call algorithms or mathematical um, computations into the planet to actually um, structure our reality in some way and it be a more positive way of living. And so through that dream, I played my flute there. And as I was there at the temples, they had all these beautiful labyrinths and on, on the, the ground there with rocks and then painted on the ceilings mm -hmm. of the, the, the housing and on the sides, and it was just wonderful. And what a labyrinth is, is it's a structure uh, that you walk from the beginning, from the east side of the entrance, and you walk into the center of it. And it's not a maze where you get kind of lost, even though sometimes I think that's the way we feel in life. <laughs> it's like we're going through mazes. <laughs> but the labyrinth, you go inward, and what you're supposed to do is kind of leave your troubles behind. If you have, you know, need to have some clarity and some understanding, it's almost kind of like prayer with your body. Mm -hmm. You walk very purposeful, almost like a... Uh, Tick not Han. Tick not Han. Being very says, present, one hundred percent of the time. Present. Be very mindful. And I try to think about that when I'm scooping poop with my dog. You so got to be present, and mindful. Present. <laughs> but, gotcha. but you got to be mindful, and you do step by step, one foot in front of the other. And as you're walking, you actually go into the right side of your brain, which is your spiritual side, your creative side, and you could get answers and clarity to things in your life. When you go to the center, you leave all your troubles behind. Usually when you leave, you have a little bit, you're a different person. It's almost like life. You go into these twists and these turns and movement and don't know quite where you're going to go, where you're going to end up. feel a little bit better when you get to the center because you've arrived, and then you have to leave again to get out. And by the time you get out and go on that journey, you feel a little bit better. So it's just a wonderful way of shutting off that left side of our logic, going into the right side of our brain. Now, most of the uh, churches across Europe, in the old days, all had labyrinths in there. It helps with us, you know, like I said, to get spiritually balanced. The Grace Cathedral in San Francisco has a wonderful labyrinth. And we are actually listed on the labyrinthlocator.com on the internet, one of the few places in Fresno that you can actually go and walk 
the labyrinth, which is, you know, increase your spirituality. I think we have a wonderful picture of uh, one of the churches um, there that has a labyrinth. I don't know. Or a church, yeah. Oh, there, there's oh that, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's one, that's one of the um, floors of the churches there in Europe that have these wonderful labyrinths that you can actually walk. And hopefully, um, I would love to build a more complicated one here in Fresno if we get a bigger place someday. So it's kind of cool. But people are welcome to come on out there. Just contact us. And right now, I'm getting signaled that we're supposed to go to commercial, and we'll be right back. Central Valley Talk. Talk. All right, and we're back, and I'm Dr. Salo Stanley. And, and I'm Barbara Heinzelman. And this is BS in Fresno, and in the background is one of the cathedrals that have the labyrinths. A lot of the, the churches across Europe have them. And the other thing that people don't realize about the labyrinths is they actually do, like, spiritual acupuncture on the planet. It's sacred geometry. It, it creates this wonderful feeling on Mother Earth, and also when humans kind of walk it, they send their energy down with their prayers and their good thoughts back into that Mother Earth. And even if they aren't that good of thoughts, my guides are saying right now, they do get transformed by Mother Earth's wonderful energy to help, you know, recalibrate it and send beautiful prayers back up to yourself. We're also wonderful walking antennas here on the planet to help anchor in this new energy for 2012 and beyond. So a lot of the churches also were built on ley lines, which are special lines that cross that make special energy here on the planet that aids and assists with our awakening here on planet Earth. So I think Barb wanted to talk a little yeah. bit about one of her patients that... Uh, well, again, again, come visit our labyrinth at 410 West Olive Avenue, Suite 101, behind our office, and uh, you can check out our labyrinth. I had one of my uh, clients check out our labyrinth, and she, said, she told me about this. She was having some issues with where she was living, and just wasn't quite working out, and she was thinking, oh, gosh, should I go get something else? Should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay? Why are they? But... Uh, so she went and she was thinking about this and she said, you know, I'm going to walk the labyrinth. So she walked the labyrinth, she got in, she went out, and she said by the time she got home, she went to the place where she was living and some changes had been made. Uh, one of the people that was living there was going to be moving out. They were going to move her into a better quiet room so she wouldn't have to, I mean, everything just kind of fell into place. I love it. And just, she got a little more clarity after she walked the labyrinth and then after that, just everything fell right into place. It well, was great. I love it because that's what it's about. It's about us taking that quiet contemplation. We're always with our busy lives and that mm -hmm. into what I call, again, that divine timing or divine integrity of really listening to our inner spirit. And this is a good way of meditating without having to think you have to say OM or nothing wrong with that. Nothing, I, I love OM. I love OM. Boy. But yeah. it's just a nice way of doing it without being, you know, so structured. It just kind of gives you a little bit of structure and getting your mind off of things. So, you know, hopefully someday we can have a fence around it so we can put some wonderful water fountains and plants, plants as and my things. vision someday. But you know, one step at a time, it was enough just trying to draw the darn thing out <laughs> <laughs> and on the parking lot and get it painted on the pavement. <laughs> and, and the right, yeah, the right, and the right yeah, dimensions. dimensions. You know, I know it was 24 feet across or something. And so mathematically, I'm not really that well with math, but I just use my guides and angels and I told the, the painter that was using the string I said well my guide said the center's here this is where we start right here. <laughs> so, and we did she marked it with a little X and sure enough it came out perfect so I had to trust my guides it's about going inward and just mm -hmm. listening to that knowing that it's going to be okay which is great so I just love the labyrinth and you know it's one of the few places here in Fresno come check it out at our office you're welcome to come there and also services there for sound therapy if you want to come in and relax mm -hmm. and have some sound therapy with some wonderful music and lights and I do crystal therapy and we use tuning forks and acupuncture points to help you get more realigned and feel less stressed and to be able to have those better updates on the computer and downloads for mm -hmm. information happening and without turning off your computer before it's done. <laughs> That's right. Just kind of taking that time, being mindful, being aware, being present. And Thich Nhat Hanh, he has a wonderful meditation in one of his one of his books. And it's just like, and to kind of almost just challenges you, be present 100% of the time today. And it's like, wow, that's sometimes hard because I'm either in the thinking of the future, thinking of the past, or thinking of something else but not being mindful of what's going on right, right now. Being in the moment as, you know, being in the power of now. Right. That's like Eckhart Tolle says, you know. I always thought about getting t-shirts saying, if you're reading this now, then you're in the moment. 
<laughs> <laughs> which is kind of cool. <laughs> so it's real important, I think. Mm -hmm. And just those little things you do each day helps us with the expansion yeah. of our spirituality. Yeah, so. go walk the labyrinth and then call me for a massage, you know, or call me for a Reiki treatment or do get a massage and then walk the labyrinth. Poss endless There's combinations. Endless combinations. And that's as creative really, as you can be. And that's why we do the show, too. Mm -hmm. We just want to let people know that we're out there because a lot of times people have stress, anxiety, mm -hmm. sleepless nights, don't know what's going on on the planet with all the crazy energy that's happening. And it's about riding the surf instead of having your your surfboard just kind of go underneath you and you're getting drowned by the waves. <laughs> and it's like your timing's <laughs> off, you know, and, and it's about, you know, you can get on that surfboard and ride this and have fun as opposed to being tumbled around into the surf. It doesn't have to be that hard. It's just a, a quick turnaround in the universe. And so, you know, a change of direction comes with you. Yes, you create your so own reality you from the inside out, not from the outside in. Don't try at this time to power through things through this old 3D way of, I'm going to get this organized, I'm going to make movement forward. I'm going to get this organized, I'm going to make movement forward. Instead, go inward and say, how does this feel right now? How does this feel with this contact? How does it feel about sending this email? How does it sound about calling this person up right now? Does this feel like the right place right now? Close your eyes, look in the future. What does it look three months from now for this wonderful event? Look at everything around you. Is it a sunny day? Are all, how, all the people there? You know, mm -hmm. just use your intuition and, and just kind of check in with that and just let the universe kind of guide you and flow with that. And I could tell you, I'm not the... I'm the first person sometimes to be out of the vortex. You know, I've been having my moments through this Mercury retrograde, and I've been having my little cosmic barfs <laughs> too come up and everything. But I usually try to come with a disclaimer with my friends and say, you know, it, it's coming. I've been having these, these little, I call it uh, Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> the heck with that. <laughs> so, I can't stop it. It just happens. You know, you have that cosmic barf. And to know it's okay, and you don't have to say, feel bad about it. It's just part of our spiritual evolutionary state, our growth, and it's all okay. We're all friends. We're all one in the universe, and we all love one another in the universe, and that's what it's about, which is kind of cool. I also want to just kind of, I'm just going to give a quick shout out to my friends back east who hopefully are watching Mike and Bear from Visions into the Past Paranormal. Uh, I do the radio show, and they do a great radio show on Monday evenings, uh, 6 o'clock Pacific Time and 9 o'clock Eastern Time. And they're on the Internet, and if you're on Facebook, uh, look them up, uh, Visions into the Past Paranormal. Uh, it's the Uber Network uh, Radio. And I just want to give out a shout-out to you guys because I love you guys hey out there back there, for sure. <laughs> and uh, the other person I wanted to um, give a shout-out to is uh, this wonderful business on Olive Avenue. We had this wonderful oh. experience. and. I don't know if you can bring up that washing machine for us. And uh, we recently had our our new brand new computer washing machine. That's not mm -hmm. it, but our yeah, that's it. That's right? the that's the yeah, one. That, yeah. We got a brand new one, but it's it was not us. quite three. Yeah, we okay. It replaced a not quite three year old three year old computer. Had all the bells and whistles mm -hmm. on it and everything. What did it do? It died this week. It totally died. And computer chip. Yeah. And so Sears was going to charge $75 just to come out, not even go for parts or labor or whatever, to know that our computer board is out. And, and we knew that. We knew that. <laughs> it wasn't feeling on the fill cycle. I did some research on the Internet, and a lot of times those computer panels can cost anywhere from $150 to $350. And I'm like, oh, my God. That's about as much as we paid for the thing. Oy vey. Oy vey. And so I, we said, the heck with that. And so what we did is we went down to Daniel's Appliance over there on 222 West Olive Avenue, right down the street from our office. In fact, we could just walk, walk around, from our walk office. from our office. I love promoting small businesses in the Tower District because that's what it's about. You create your own jobs. Don't worry about you thinking there's no jobs out there. The universe is going to change. Be self-empowered, and we create our own jobs. And so that other little uh, washing machine is what we got at Daniel's Appliance. We found a speed queen. A speed queen. A made 19. in the USA. Made in, in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Eh? Eh? Yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. Yep. <laughs> so We call her Helga. Yeah, we call yep. her Helga because she's a strong German woman. Mm -hmm. 
bop, yep. bop, and bop, bop. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Indestructible comes with a nice little steel uh, basket. Oh, And when it's you lift beautiful. it up, when it fills up, it doesn't turn off when you lift it up. And you can it watch it, and it's like a waterfall coming out. It's none of those like spray, and we're going to be energy efficient. <laughs> yes, it's nice to be energy efficient, but through law of attraction, through Abraham Hicks, if you know that there's always abundance, you don't have to worry mm -hmm. about that. So I'm going to go, well, there's always abundance of water. There's always so. abundance. And it comes down like a waterfall and it has wonderful suds. And when it agitates, I mean, that thing just that really. That thing. And man, when it spins, it, it, it takes all that water out. It's awesome. And when it agitates, it doesn't rock and roll all over the place. I mean, it is solid. It is like steel. It is just wonderful. It is a beautiful thing. And if I could ask it out for a date, I would. I know. And we're in love with you, Helga. <sighs> Helga. And, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I told Barb we had to talk about our washing machine. We do. Because not only what we're doing is we are recycling in the universe, mm -hmm. reusing things that are very hardy, and not being wasteful to our landfills, supporting the small business here in the Tower District, and having something that hopefully can last 15 years, which is Because it's, it's already close to 20, but I'm thinking we can probably get another 15 years I, out of, after really watching a lot so of videos on YouTube. Yeah, really, for sure. So we're going to go for a commercial, and we'll be right back after this uh, commercial message. Hi, Helga. CentralValleyTalk.com And we're back, and of course we have our background change Ground, because yeah. we thought it looked, what? as Barb said, looked like a wash wash cycle. We're in a wash cycle right yeah. now, but it's really the Aurora Borealis. <laughs> <laughs> we're still on Helga. Yeah, we're still on Helga because <laughs> we're having such a wonderful love affair with we her are. and everything. And you have to tell them how we got it delivered. Uh, Daniel himself. Daniel came by this morning. He delivered it by himself. By himself. Isn't that a beautiful machine? It is yes. like all steel. I, we love it. 1993. It is, oh, and it's, it's like gears. And, it's, and right. he came by and he said all the new ones are being made out of Plastic. All the gears are plastic and um, not metal and not computer lasting, chips and computer they're not, chips. It's like how can plastic hold up against my wet jeans? I how I, can they how can plastic hold up against wet towels? It it can't. It and cannot. I, I'm feeling like we were being directed to having Nazi washing machines. <laughs> <So> they're <laughs> telling you we can only go a spray, we can't, can't fill spray. it up, we have to have water efficiency and the computer and you can't lift it up to wash I want to see it. it. I see it when I put when I do my I laundry. I want to see it. <laughs> I want to. I want to see the suds. I want to see the water coming in. I want to see my cla my clothes drowning. I want to see. I want to see it washed. It's like short of taking it out to the creek and beating it with a stick and putting it in the creek and beating against some rocks. I know. And when we got it out mm -hmm. of its first cycle today, I mean, you could probably hear the angels sing because ah! it smelled so clean. <laughs> and I'm like, I think we've been abused for the last yeah. three years. We did, a, that, that we did a batch one. of towels today. And my God, they are the cleanest towels you'll ever see. Yeah. Well, we just couldn't help but talk about that because yeah. it's about having fun in the universe. Yeah. Like I said, we're recycling. We're helping uh, promote a, a small Daniel's business. Daniel's appliance. And, um, this is, and it's wonderful energy. Mm -hmm. Switching around water and through positive thoughts, you know, uh, uh, because there, there you go. You know, I've heard a lot of people say, or some, a couple of people in the past couple of days say, oh my God, there's no jobs here in Fresno. But you know what? Create your own. You can create your own. If, you're, if you have a great idea, if you're a great photographer, or you do great websites, or you do massage, or you know how to repair, like, you know, Daniel, Daniel can repair every appliance his business, there is. his business was busy. When we walked in, there were several people there in that used appliance store. And um, when we were trying to decide about getting the Speed Queen and um, oh, the speed. <laughs> Helga, Helga. Um, you know, three other people came up to it. And at that time, you know, when you're like looking for something and then because you fall in love with it, some then other people want it because <laughs> you put those grids and those happy so, grids on there. And, I, I, and so I I'm throwing myself across happy. Helga's mine. It's mine. What are you happy, doing? happy grids, you know. Happy uh, grids? I, I, I oh. use this as a demonstration, <laughs> uh, you know, grids. Grids here on the planet, uh, the green grids. You put it on my sweater? Every time we put I don't think with my argyle is going to show up. I know. It's, we get grids as our argyle now. I know. I know. Like so, but, oh, I'm wearing grids, so that's yeah. going to And these are grids, but you really can't see them. Yeah. It's dark. So anytime you have a desire or a passion, you're actually putting energetic grids here on the planet. But we did that with the washing machine, then three other people wanted to buy it, and that mm -hmm. was at that moment when it's I told high. Daniel, no, we're taking it. <laughs> we're taking it home. <laughs> it was about 10 to 5. He said he couldn't deliver it. We were so disappointed, but we were so excited today when it, it arrived. Yes. So it's, it's... A new member of our family. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we had several posts about it on Facebook mm -hmm. about people saying how things just don't last, and, you no. know... It's going to go, what my guys say of the ways of the future is that people are going to appreciate more well-built things. People are going to create their own jobs mm -hmm. like Daniel does, refixing things. Our, our appreciation for things are going to be a lot better. Um, solar power, 
people creating their own jobs, uh, farmers growing their own food, coming locally. Um, Barb bought me some wonderful ha um, honey, honey today across locally, the across the street from the studio here in the Tower District. Um, it was great. So try to support Fresno. We love it. And there are jobs here, but you create it. You be self-empowered. Find out what your passion is, start doing it, and then also do research if there's a niche for it. You go out there, go from the inside out, envision it, feel it, experience it, and then just don't think about it, just do it and watch the magic occur. Fresno is an awesome place. Our economy is an awesome place because right now the banking systems are changing. Things are falling by the wayside of the old ways of doing things, the new ways coming in. We're in transition. That's why it feels a little rough. Mm -hmm. So just have faith. Have patience. It's coming. It, we're having wonderful energies. My guide said to 2015, we're riding the surf and waves because we're getting these major downloads of energy. It's all going to be okay. By, by you doing your meditation, your walking, going to have sound therapy, going to yoga, whatever that is, and taking that deep breath just for a second, breathing in and out, you can activate your whole darn body just by that. It doesn't take much. Also, I just want to plug Alea Dow's Cups of Consciousness Daily Meditation. She's a wonderful sound healer in Santa Barbara. If you go to her website, the Tao Institute, or just put in Cups of Consciousness, mm -hmm. her website will come up. I highly recommend it for as little as $10 a month, and that's a deal, and she takes PayPal, I love that. Um, you can get a daily meditation, and I tell you, if you don't realize right now with all the energies happening, how the heck are you gonna get through it? This is going to get you through it. I can almost guarantee it. You get these daily meditations, and you will be rocking and rolling. Yep, for sure. You know, and you mentioned PayPal. Yeah. Well, we started something new at our office. Salo and I before we'd just be checking cash only, but now, through the wonders of technology and cell phones, we, we can accept seven. major. We can accept major credit cards on our phones. On our phones. On Square. Yes. On our. Yeah. On, on our Square. On our, on our. On our phones. We can right. accept it. We can accept yes. it. Yes, Square. Square, square Up. Square so, up dot com. Yeah, we love it. It's great. And, you know, we what I did is I did a test between Pay Anywhere, which is advertising everywhere. You get on Facebook and on the mm -hmm. Internet, you're going to see Pay Anywhere. So I tried Pay Anywhere and I tried Square. Okay. Square was really easy. It's almost like I would say Square would be like they'll, they'll accept anybody. <laughs> You know, you so pay I, your money, or well, they don't have to pay you know, your money. It's, it's great. You know, in fact, even the working women and Motel Drive could be using Square, and that would still be okay. Not that we're <laughs> advocating we're that. We're not okay, advocating don't, don't, that. No, but, no. But um, <laughs> Pay Anywhere is a little bit more stringent with they do the background and your bank account and all that sort of stuff, but Square is a little bit more lenient. I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. uh, they make you fill out more work on Pay Anywhere. Plus, their software is uh, what I call a little bit more tight. There's more numbers and things to press and more steps to do for a transaction as opposed to Square. Its software is very intuitive. The steps are less. Boom, you're done. Mm -hmm. I haven't had any problems with it. And the cool thing is your money is deposited within 24 hours, which is great. Pay Anywhere, I did my test with them. It took a week, five to seven days before it was deposited in my account, even though they said it would take two days. So. I'm not saying they're bad, we're mm -mm. still doing the test, but I can tell you. We're leaning towards we're Square. We're leaning towards Square. And Square doesn't have a 1 800 number, but they do mm -hmm. have an email address. They got 4.5 stars, I think, on the internet as far as ratings go. Uh, Pay Anywhere is still um, up and running and kind of new. Uh, they do have a 1 800 number. I do have to give kudos to uh, the people that are very service. customer service. They're very friendly and kind, but they make you do a lot of work. For example, when I was supposed to get my card swiper, the lady called me up and said, ma'am, we can't send your card swiper because for some reason we have your address, not, we don't have the numbers of your address right, but we have your street. And so the UPS man is going up and down the street and can't find you. And I said, oh, well, here's my address. I told him the numbers. I said, oh, ma'am, I'm sorry, we cannot data entry that in. You have to fill out two pages of paperwork for a change of address. And then you have to fax it in, and then they have to approve it, and then they'll send you your little card swiper. swiper. And I said, you've got to be kidding. Mm. <laughs> so I haven't filled mm -mm -mm. out my paperwork yet because I'm kind of a no. rebel, and I've just been up and running with Square so far. Yeah, Square's been great. It's great. So I'm really encouraging it also for people that are in business for themselves. My hairdresser um, likes it. Um, a lot of the people out there are mm -hmm. self-employed that are very mobile artists, uh, people that do trade shows. It works great. And they only charge 2.7% to take out, no monthly fees. It's no free. equipment to buy. No equipment they to buy. They send you your first little square free. 
Yeah, in fact, we were jumping up and down when we got it in the mail, and so. <laughs> Almost as much as Helga. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was kind of cool and yeah. stuff and everything. <laughs> so we wanted to talk about uh, a nice event coming up mm. at Coulterville. It's a very haunted town yes. in Gold Rush country, and I wonder if we could get that picture of uh, uh, the Jeffrey Hotel maybe behind us a little bit. Ah, right there now. we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very haunted. It's in Gold Rush country. We're going to do a ghost hunt in May. May, May 19th. And 20th, I can 18th, 19th, and 20th. 18, we'll yeah. have a little meet and greet and stuff. Yep. But we're going to bring Darcy up, who's one of the members of the Light Workers Foundation here. In fact, if you want to look up Light Workers uh, Foundation Fresno Meetup and become a member, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. But this is uh, Darcy Bellows, and we got a little chair here. So <laughs> sit here and. Oops. This is Darcy and hi, hi Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we, she's you know we're one of the the members here uh, that mm -hmm. does the Light Workers Foundation and we host events um, as far as getting in touch with intuition, numerology classes, my spiritual potpourri, which is the first Saturday of the month at ten thirty at my office and. Uh, Vast event, so uh, why don't you all, I'll just hand over the camera to you. All right, well, um, when we were talking about things that our members, Lightworkers Foundation, um, wanted to do, every time I've talked about when we go paranormal or ghost investigating, I, I get friends that'll say, gosh, that sounds so cool. Mm -hmm. Is it scary? Is it, uh -huh. um, what's it like, you know? Um, and one of the best times we've had as a group mm -hmm. was at this Jeffrey Hotel. Am I not right? Yes. Oh, yes. I think it's, it's awesome when I'm looking at it. And I, like, I it's tell great. you, those ghosts are awesome because, you know, when I got there, I didn't care about being touched. I wanted to have the, the full experience there. And I did get touched uh, and, and, and in inappropriate places. But, but yeah, you know, yeah, it got to be a little more specific for what you ask for. <laughs> Otherwise, you get anything. Well, and you, you got anything. If you think they're old minors and they haven't seen women in who knows how many years and stuff, so. and, you know, in our time space, our continuum, our space yeah. time continuum to them, I guess they were very, very um, happy to see us there. So, <laughs> so, in fact, we even got um, wonderful orbs on some of. Our boobs. So, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was super yeah. funny. Here's she, a lot. Mm -hmm. Salo, we, we're sitting down at dinner, and she says, "Yeah, I think they're real happy to see us ladies here." She goes, "I can feel one of them touching my breast," and I'm like, "Oh, okay." All right. <laughs> okay. Um, so then we get the pictures back. And lo and behold, there's an orb Oops. on my boob. I'm like, what? what? <laughs> Everybody. I love that and everything. And so they really, what's so cool about Coulterville is oh. that the whole town, not just the Jeffrey Hotel, mm -hmm. but the whole town is very haunted, has wonderful stories with the hanging tree there and, and a lot of other things that occur. But everywhere you look, they're there. They love to interact with you. When we were there, we were just talking, and the door just opened up out of nowhere. And, of course, we tried to debunk that and make sure. So we closed it the best we can. Where it was at was just open a little bit. And as we were talking on camera, we got an actual orb. And when we asked the ghost to open it up, it opened it up on request. I mean, yes. Can you believe mm -hmm. it? And we actually have it. On, on YouTube, just look under Solo Stanley YouTube, uh, and it's on my channel, just at the Jeffrey Hotel, Ghost Opens the Door, and you can actually see what happened when we asked that ghost to open the door. So they're very cooperative there. Um, in fact, Barb, when she went ghost hunting, she didn't want to be disturbed with everybody else on the floor and asked not to be disturbed. That I wasn't her, ghost hunting at the time. No, she wasn't ghost hunting at the time. <laughs> wasn't part of the group. She just wanted to read and watch some DVD movies in her room. And um, the ghost actually locked her door so nobody could go in. <laughs> and she couldn't get out. <laughs> I could get out. You guys couldn't get in. Yeah, so it's kind of really weird. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about the Jeffrey Hotel in a few minutes after this commercial. And we'll be right back. Talk.com. And we're back, and I have Darcy Bellis here, and we're going to be talking about our ghost hunt event, paranormal investigation, the Light Workers Way, coming up on May 18th, 19th, and 20th. And so, why don't you tell us what we're going to oh, be learning? Oh, yeah, Darcy, why don't yeah. you tell us about, about the ghost hunt, yeah? yeah. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, yeah, you betcha. <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> um, well, um, so, um, I, I had said that a lot of my friends really wanted to learn, how, uh, well, what do you do? I mean, uh, uh, does it just come in? Um, mm -hmm. How do you ghost hunt? And um, 
well, we don't even really like the term ghost hunt because yeah. it's too aggressive for the light worker's mm -hmm. way. Um, but, you don't actually uh, hunt them. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind yeah. of like communication right. and, yeah. and, right. and learning to, um, you know, make new friends. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. so to be dead. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> um, but we're going to have a total of like five um, seminars uh, throughout the, the weekend. It's going to be a weekend-long thing. And um, you guys are going to entertain us. Mm -hmm. Want to add one of the? Can we um, play we a little bit of music? Yeah, can we find when we play some music? It kind of get, gets well, the gets, ghosts going. It gets the live living people going, and also right. gets the ghosts get yeah, they, they get really going and they respond. get real active because you want to be around a party. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. yes, the, we get it all charged, and that that's what I think the light workers' way is is that we it beca it's a positive experience. It isn't a scary one. It mm -hmm. isn't like. Um, you know, ghost adventures. We aren't going in there threatening to beat the crap out of them if they, you know, are going to scratch yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not, not that no. I, mm -mm. I appreciate that testosterone and whatever, but um, no. Um, so um, a little kinder, gentler. Yes, yeah. yes. It's a much more kinder. And, and it works. I mean, um, I went to the Jeffrey with you um, when I, it was only my second uh, ghost experience, uh, ghost investigation experience, and we had all. Oh, kinds of activity. I mean, mm -hmm. um, I detailed it in my book, Finding Vern. Yeah, yes, um, Finding which is great. Yes. And uh, check out my new YouTube videos on Vern because he's actually been contacting us to the other side with his voice. So that's cool. In fact, I probably want to do another segment on another show probably maybe next month on that and then we can have you back and, and talk about your book. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. Cool. But um, so we're going to have five um, um, courses. One is going to, you're going to figure out how to use the equipment. Uh, the next one is going to be um, the light worker's way. And um, we teach you how to use your intuition. Right. Um, and basically. And to be positive um, and not be fearful, too. Right. 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 And um, you would be amazed, people that say that they're not psychic at all. I mean, I came into this thinking that I wasn't psychic at all. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. uh, but I got some great hits um, when we went to the, the Stanley. I got the names of previous owners, and um, it was just, it, it blew my mind. Anyway. Mm -hmm. um, this is this is like, you have your intuition, that's what it's about. And it's about making friends with the ghosts and having fun with it and having this interaction and getting results. And, you know, so... You teaching how to use the equipment, how to have protection, how to have positive thoughts, your law of attraction, and you know, be up, use music mm -hmm. in a way, and um, just about having fun, just like the show. That's what it's all right. about, and it's on May uh, May eighteenth through the twentieth. Okay, the 20th. Uh, and check out check out our meet up. What's our the, our meet up? Light Workers um, Foundation meet up. Fresno's Light Worker mm -hmm. Foundation and meet up. Mm -hmm. Become a member. That'd be great. Or mm -hmm. all the information's there. Or check out solosounds.com on my events page, and that should be posted there. And uh, and so mm -hmm. it'll be lots of fun. So hopefully we can be there. Yeah. 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 Hope yeah. To see ya. yeah. So it'd be kind of great. And we're gonna play a little music before we go and make a few announcements. So. All right. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you, you. Darcy. Yeah, we're going to talk no about, uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have no, no pick. pick. <laughs> I do. Cool. Okay. And we're in Sedona. I don't have my flute. But, uh, okay, this Saturday, Reiki Level 2 from 9.30 to 1. Check out my website, www.barbhcmt. Salo and I are playing at the Central Valley Center for Spiritual Living um, on Shaw Avenue. On Shaw Avenue, and the address is 2350 West Shaw Avenue, Reverend Pamela Hamilton's Church. It's a great church, and we're going to be playing there 1030 this, this uh, Sunday, so it'll be kind of great. And thank you for saying that we are doing awesome, an awesome job, lovely. ladies. You we girls love it. rock. Yeah. Yeah. We love it. So thank you. We got that. And yeah, feel free to give comments. We love that. So we'll be doing that. Don't forget about Spiritual Potpourri coming up on April 7th at 1030. Uh, I do a wonderful spiritual talk and we record that. That's great. Um, lots of fun. I will be on the radio on D Doves Blog Talk Radio coming up this Monday, the 26th at 4 o'clock live. And I will also be on Maxine Taylor's Co Creative Network um, coming up April 2nd at 6 o'clock Pacific Time. And hopefully I will also be into Visions into the Past Paranormal with Mike and Bear sometime soon. For sure, coming up. So, another hey out yeah. to you guys, and we're gonna play a little. That's right. And Reiki One class, Saturday, April 28th, 9 30 to 2. Check out my website. Barb H C M T dot com.
<laughs> hey, that was improvised. That's good. Cool, huh? Yeah. 